all right welcome back so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to set up your part before we start machining so now that i have the geometry all drawn out and also the solid model what i want to do is i actually want to go back to level one so i can set up my stock from that first level let's go ahead and do that so first what i want to do is go to levels select level one being visible and then make sure you are on level one and then make level two invisible this way you are right back to level one geometry now that you're there go ahead and select top over here and then zoom out just a little bit so you can see everything from the top view now go back to toolpath over here now one thing you always want to make sure every time you're playing around with views and you're switching views if you actually go back to planes right now you will notice that the world coordinate system construction plane and the tool plane they're not all aligned at the plus d plus z so make sure to come over here and select equal to so you can bring all three back over here otherwise you're going to get an error whenever you start creating your toolpath go back to toolpath over here and expand properties let's go ahead and get started by selecting tool settings and for program number we're going to go ahead and type in six we're going to check assign tool number sequentially and warn of duplicate tool numbers and then everything under the advanced options we'll keep everything the same and then go to the stock setup for the plane, we're going to switch that to the plus D plus Z plane. Now for the stock, go ahead and select properties. And for the stock, we already know because of our drawing, it's a four and a half inches in OD and also four and a half inches in the length. So it's a four and a half inch by four and a half inch. Okay. And then you'll also have your center drill. Now it's up to you if you want to keep this off or create it. We're going to keep this off. This way we're able to machine that. I'll show you guys how to machine a very deeper hole. This is a lot deeper than normal. So we will have to edit our tool and holder to be able to create that drilled hole. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it there. This way I can show you guys how to create that. All right. So now that you're done with that, go ahead and select use margins. And we're going to go ahead and add 0.2 and the OD margin and also 0.2 on the right side. We're also going to add two inches to the left side because we're going to have our chug jaw hold it on those two inches. All right. And then select. OK. Now go ahead and move this real quick so you can see what's going on over here. You can see that your stock is expanded two inches outward and we left a, few, a little bit of material for facing and a little bit of material on the OD as well. And for the chuck jaw, go ahead and select properties. We're going to select the OD number two this time. All right. This is just a little bit different. It's holding on the OD still, but you can see that the chuck jaws are flipped. And now I'm going to select from stock. All right. So make sure that your chuck jaw over here is lined up with the end of your stock. If it's not, make sure to match the width step to the grip length. I think the first time that you do change this, this appears as zero. If it does, it will look just like this, but we definitely need it to hold it on the end of the part. So I would like to change this to actually 0.5 to make it a little bit more of the chuck jaw that's holding it and also the grip length to 0.5. Always match the width step, which is the distance between here and here to the grip length over here. And as you can see, now it's gripping a lot better. And I usually like to make sure that it's gripping at least an inch, inch and a half, but we're going to keep it the same here. I just want to show you guys how to set it up just using a different chug jaw go ahead and select okay down here and then make sure to select shade boundaries we're not going to be using a tail stock or steady rest for this exercise and then select okay all right go ahead and fit the screen so you can see it better now if you fit the screen this is always always going to focus on your geometry so if you want to see everything better you can make sure to zoom out all the way and now you will see your chug jaw holding your stock and there's your geometry. All right, so we'll start with the first machining operation in the next video.